So you want me to pretend like I'm doing something and say trampolines? The trampolines! Trampolines! Hey, just, just, all I ever say, who'd you come to see? The trampolines! The trampolines. The trampolines! The trampolines. Say it with more enthusiasm. The trampolines! The trampolines! The trampolines! The trampolines! Perfect. I met Chris, uh, he was singing for a band called Losing November, I was singing for a band called The Sad Star Cafe. And um, I think the, the last band he was in uh, was Going South, it was pretty much the same time my band was was heading in that direction and, and we got to know each other better and, and realized that we were in a lot of the same music. We just decided to get together and um, do a series I used to run called The Acoustic Circus and played at The Acoustic Circus one night, it just felt right. And so he and I worked out some material and realized that we, you know, we had a, a real good thing going and a, a real nice chemistry about stuff. And, and very soon after, we decided to, to try and, and, and write some stuff and, and see what happens. And uh, that was that. We started playing together. Our bands broke up, and we were off and running with the trampolines. So the trampolines got together, we and Chris started playing together in 2004 just as an acoustic duo and, um, and we've been lucky enough to you know, open for all kinds of cool national acts and have toured with some cool people and toured the west coast you know, many many times and had a really good run for a couple of you know, years for 2005, 2006 into 2007 and um, things just kind of fell apart in the middle of the summer of 2007. The fortunate and unfortunate thing about, about Mark and I was it, it was really about Mark and I. Like we had a lot of different guys in the band at, at different times and I think we were we were trying to learn how to be a band, how to make the trampolines its own band. We weren't really writing anything. I mean Chris was coming up with songs and you know we were gonna try and force a record out you know last year and decided to put a DVD out instead. The effort we made to try and do a follow-up record which was almost a year ago now doing the pre-pro we, we I think we pretty much ran ourselves into the ground and, and a lot of things sort of uh, took its toll on us and, and we, we decided the best thing to do is to take a little time away and we broke up you know um, in August of 2007 and didn't really know where we were gonna go from there or if it was gonna work out you know, um, beyond that. And a couple of months went by and... I had a chance to go off and, and be by myself and not have, not go to rehearsals or go to shows or do anything of that nature and I had a, a lot of time to sort of hear myself again and get back to what the excitement was when we first got together about writing songs and stuff and... Chris called up one day and said, man, I got some great song ideas, you know, we should get together and jam and, you know, the honest truth is, um, I'm happy that things went that way because we just, we were at a point where we really couldn't stand each other and and now we get along better than we've ever gotten along and... It definitely helped us hash out what, what is now going to be what, what I think is, is probably the best record we've ever made, collectively or individually. We're just really excited about the material that we're getting ready to start recording. So just hoping that the new album goes well and that it's a good, positive experience for us on the whole. The new record is nothing like the first one, you know. The first record we did um, was, you know, a couple songs that I had kind of you know written around the you know the time we started playing together 
We used a couple of Chris's songs that had also, you know, had been written before we were together, and so this is really the first album that we've, even though he pretty much writes a song or I write a song, we pepper each other's tunes up, you know, and, and this, this record is nothing like the first one, and I think that's the main thing that we're excited about but nervous about for our fans at the same time because it's, it is considerably darker. Um, lyrically more than anything. I mean, it definitely still sounds pretty upbeat and poppy, but um, you know, there's also some, some country songs and a couple of pretty banging rock songs on it, but uh, on the whole, it's pretty dark. But, you know, I don't think that you can be a, a successful band over time if you don't grow and if you don't change and you don't take chances. And it, if you're going to be honest when you write, then that's going to be believable to, to all everyone who likes your music. There's a song called The Need on there that, that I wrote and, and I got the idea. I, I don't necessarily think it was about anything in particular when I first started writing it, but, but the idea was about how to sort of pull yourself up from any hole that you happen to be in and, and, and finding a way to recover from that and, and learning from it and actually making something positive out of it. And, and later on, I think that song ended up probably being being you know, a direct correlation of, of what we were going through at the time, and so, you know, you know, there's a lot of I, I love a lot of the songs in the new record, but that one I think is extra special to me uh, because I think that it, it's really, you know, where my head was at about getting back into this band and, and making it right and finding the right way to do it. I guess I hope that um, you know that the album, you know. I think what happens a lot of times, people, you know, at the, especially at the sophomore blues, you know, point of their career, they, they go in and start, you know, working on stuff, and you know, it's it's really kind of a deal breaker. I mean, like I think this record will be a make or break thing for us, you know. Um, but I think I feel really positive about it, uh, and hopefully, everyone who digs everything we've done up to this point will will understand where we're going with this, and we hope that they grow with us and that they get a lot out of it. So, first and foremost, I, I hope that that this success so continues to 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 keep moving and this train keeps going forward because I'm, I'm happy to be back on it and I feel like we're in a much more positive place and I think that'll show um, to everyone and you know hopefully a lot more people will get involved in this as well and I'd like to see us to continue to have the successes that we've had in the past and and, and uh, keep moving forward.